they face the Seattle Mariners. Hello again, alongside Jeff Blum, I'm Kevin Eschenfelder filling in once again for Todd Callis. Great to have you with us for some afternoon baseball here on this Sunday in downtown Houston. And man, so far, so very good for the Houston Astros. Two up and uh, two in the win column so far for Houston. Only undefeated team in 2020. The Astros are 2-0, and oh, and I'm not a, sure if you're a big fan of numbers, but that bodes well for them starting off the season, and they're just looking to continue it against the Seattle Mariners. Another thing that bodes well for the Astros today is the fact that they send Zach Grinke to the mound, making his first start obviously here in 2020 yeah and he's got some great numbers against Seattle we'll talk about that a little bit later but in the five seasons he was with the Diamondbacks and the Astros you can see that 2.99 ERA very good he's not a guy that's going to go out there and overwhelm you with velocity but he's going to go out there and run his way to some W's he does a great job of working off the edges change up has been a very good pitch for him and obviously we're going to sit through this game and try to figure out how slow that breaking ball will come in what's the over under on 65 miles an hour I've got one going under one going over, but there's a real possibility that he tries to drop one in there about 65 miles an hour. This will be his 11th. That should be fun to watch. This will be his 11th start in an Astros uniform. And last year in those 10 regular season starts, 8-1 and one was very solid just, just each time he went out to the mound for the Astros. Yeah, he's going to get a lot of run support with this ball club. He knew that, and that's why, he, you know, that 3.86 might be a little inflated for a guy like Zach Granke, but the last four games really figured it out and actually carried that into the playoffs with a couple of good starts after facing Tampa Bay in that first round. Well, if you're running a sprint, you want to get off to a good start, and that's what the Astros have done so far. Two in the win column, two, two four in this lineup. Lewis with the, a lot of power so far in this series. Evan White, Jose Marmalejos, Tim Lopes, Malik Smith, and Joe Hudson gets his first start. He is behind the plate and bats ninth for Scott Service's Seattle Mariners. Here is J.P. Crawford. Had two of Seattle's eight hits yesterday. Powered by Xfinity, Brantley, Springer, and Reddick in the outfield. Altuve, as you just saw in Correa, the middle infield. Breckman and Yuli on the corners. Martin Maldonado brings that hot bat back to the lineup, and he is behind the plate. You can hear every, every grunt as he lets go of that pitch. Yeah, you definitely don't have to turn the field mics up. Zach Granke is out there. You're going to hear him. Now to me and Michael Brantley. Top three in the order. So flip-flopping Brantley and Bregman, who bats cleanup, followed by Yuli and Carlos Correa, the shortstop. Taylor Jones is a designated hitter, making his major league debut. Recalled a couple of days. Relentless Diaz went on the injured list a couple of days ago. And then it's Josh Reddick and Martin Maldonado. Yusei Kikuchi, 29-year-old from... Morioka, Japan, making the start today for the Seattle Mariners. I say he's got a fastball, curveball, changeup, slider, fastball, 91 to 93 miles an hour. Keep an eye on that slider. There's a little bit of a look at that slider last season. You can see early on, pre-All-Star break, doing a great job with it. And all of a sudden, fatigue set in, and that pitch started to flatten out, stay up out of the zone, and then hard hit percentage jumping 10%, and the strikeout percentage being cut in half, and that's what led to some of the big numbers to finish the season for Kikuchi. 